Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Half a dozen planets and a load of moons. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, outreach astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. You have a great opportunity to use the moon to help you find half a dozen planets next week, and a rare chance to see the four Galilean moons lined up in their right sequence. Let's get this star show going. Okay, next Monday, May 23rd, about 45 minutes before sunrise, drag your stargazing bones out of the sack and look east around 4.30 or so. The reason I'm asking you to get up at that ungodly hour is that the moon will be perfectly placed to help you find the most distant planet, Neptune. You'll need binoculars and a dark sky to spot bluish Neptune about 15 degrees down and to the left of the 21-day-old moon. The next day, Tuesday, May 24th, will be even better as the last quarter moon will be much closer, only five degrees above the eighth planet, Neptune. Remember, you'll need binoculars to find Neptune. Now, don't sleep in on Monday and put all your Neptune eggs in Tuesday's basket because the clouds may be different from one day to the next. Let's talk about the sizes and distances involved here. The 2,000 mile wide moon will be 248,000 miles away and its light will take one and a third seconds to get here. Neptune is another thing altogether. It's so far away that its light will take over four hours to get here. Neptune is a gas giant planet four times the diameter of our Earth, almost 31,000 miles wide. The next day, Wednesday the 25th, the moon will be a bit skinnier and heading away from Neptune. The next day, Thursday the 26th, an even skinnier moon will be approaching another gas giant planet, Uranus. The best day will be Friday, May 27th, when the moon will be only five and a half degrees up and to the left of Uranus. Uranus is not as far from the sun as Neptune, so its light will take less than three hours to get here compared to Neptune's four hours. Uranus, like Neptune, is a gas giant planet, completely different from our rocky planet Earth and 1,000 miles wider than Neptune. The moon will be getting really skinny the next day, Saturday the 28th, as it heads towards a really bright spot of light in your morning sky, the king of the planets, Jupiter. Sunday morning the 29th, a very skinny moon will be five degrees up and to the left of Jupiter. Now you can see the moon and Jupiter plainly with your naked eye and take a good look at the moon and you may see a gray ghostly image of the moon's disk to the right of the thin crescent. If you get out around 4.30, you'll have a better chance of seeing it before the sun washes it away as dawn approaches. This gray light is what's known as Earthshine. This pale, ghostly image of the moon is lit up by sunlight that has traveled from the sun to the daytime side of the Earth, then reflected off the Earth up to the dark side of the moon and then back down to the Earth for you to see. Quite a trip for a little sunbeam. Now, usually Stargazer is all about naked eye stargazing. But with Neptune and Uranus, binoculars will be necessary. And binoculars or a small telescope will be essential for the next thing we're going to tell you. Jupiter has over 50 moons, but it's the four biggest ones discovered by Galileo that we're talking about now. Their names from left to right are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. An easy way to remember their names is to say to yourself, I eat green caterpillars. Oh, yuck. Well. On Sunday morning, May 29th, these four Galilean moons will be lined up on the right side of Jupiter in order of their distance from Jupiter. Io first, then Europa, then Ganymede, then Callisto. Be sure to see this. It doesn't happen every day. There are three more planets down to the left of Jupiter, which you might see, but it will be iffy. On Monday, May the 30th, a super skinny moon will be just above Venus. Mars will be up to Venus's right, and Mercury will be even lower and left of Venus. You'll have to have a lot of luck and a really clear horizon to see this, though. But what the heck, give it a try. You'll never know unless you keep looking up. <laughs>